Hello YouTube, what is up? LC Chance here and um, today I've got a tutorial for you. Yes, I am finally doing another Minecraft tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is on how to do an automatic or semi no semi automatic wheat farm. Uh, and so yeah, here we go. So here's basically how it works. Water comes through, takes it out. And then you just wait for the water to flush it all to the end. Knock it off and go in and the water stops. Go collect your uh, stuff and done. Now, as you know, you probably noticed um, some of the wheat and seed got onto the middle part of this. That's very easy to fix, just place like another slab on top of it. I was on I'm only using half slabs, but if you play use a full block or two Okay, so uh, this is the basic design of it. You can add uh, multiple layers if you want to, multiple floors to get more wheat, but um, I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. So yeah, it's the basic design of it. Now, you want to keep in mind that if you only want to use one row of water like I have, that's the only source of water that hydrates the floor, then you want to have the... Uh, you want to try and hydrate three blocks to one side and three blocks the other side because uh, oh shit ah, never mind two over here in case you don't know farming basics um, one block of water um, will hydrate up to three blocks so three going up, down, left, right, iron, and diagonal. So, if you want to make a farm like that, you'd only need one block of water to hydrate about. about 48 blocks of water, something like that. I probably just failed. Okay, now uh, let's jump into the tutorial. Now uh, I'm gonna build mine over here. So for this tutorial, you'll need what I have on the bottom of my screen, which is wood, water. Um, optional would be wood slabs, um, seeds, a hoe, uh, pistons, redstone, a lever, and crap bone meal is also optional okay so if you look here this is the basic design for it so yeah okay so we'll start here so wait let me just double share yeah Okay, so you want to build f four blocks up um, and five blocks back. Two, no, four, five. All right, that's done. Now you want to build it. I think it's nine blocks in total. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So yeah, nine blocks. This is the wall. These three are the water chambers. That's the separating wall. Another three chambers and the other wall. Okay. Build them all up. We'll build the edge up to uh, four blocks. And 
that is done. Do this as well, might as well. Um, die. Okay, so just like that. And you can actually, yeah, go ahead and film that bit in, that bit in, that bit in, and that bit in. On both sides, oh god, on both sides. So that is what it looks like so far. I'll also fill the roof in. Leave one block at the front. So this should be what you have at the moment. Great. Now uh, you might as well go ahead and fill this bit in because we're not going to be needing that. that's great. This is really easy to uh, build by the way. It doesn't uh, require that much. So now we're gonna want to do the pistons. Oh actually you might need to break in. Yeah this is where these blocks come in like where you don't fill it in. Okay so you use your sticky pistons and face them downwards like that. So that's the basic design. This is an easy design as well. Okay. Now you've got that, you want to just fill a few blocks at the front. If you're not confident you're doing it right, then break in and just place it on the sticky pistons. By the way, they must be sticky pistons, they can't be ordinary pistons, or this won't work. Okay, now we want to fly up top. Apply the redstone. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it covers them pistons, them pistons, join them together, and then cut it off here. I mean, join it up to this lever. And even though this is on, obviously, this would be power off mode. So that would be what it looks like. Now here's where our water comes in. Okay, don't worry about the mess that there's going to be at the minute. That doesn't matter at all. I don't know if that made sense. Okay, fill them three blocks and them three blocks. Okay, now get back up to the top. Okay. Oops, the daisies. So, this is powered off mode, normal. When you hit the switch, the sticky piston uh, pulls the piece of wood back up, therefore letting the water fall out. Okay, now we're gonna actually build the weed bit. Okay, so if you want, you can put the water, let the water out to guide you with this. But you don't really need to do that, you just build. I like to build 10 blocks out. Now, uh, 
this one there. And now it's got to be your water source that powers the... Hold on, let me just turn this water off. Yeah, that is. This got to be the water source that uh, hydrates your crops. Now, plate do this so it's a nice perfect screen. And if you want, you can cover it up with half slabs. And I think that looks quite nice. But if you want to prevent the uh, problem I had before on that one, where the wheat goes onto the middle, then simply just add another block. And there it is basically oh this is optional. Just do that. So look nicer and that's the drop off point. So there's your wheat farm basically done. All you need to do now is obviously use your hole to turn and this Okay. you want to place your seeds I think I got all of it also that's uh, a bit of a problem uh, if you are on here and you walk off ah. well sometimes you do have a chance of like messing up the ground but if you have a single slab like that then makes it easier to just travel but it's up to you really yeah it's all done And there's your wheat farm basically done. I'm just gonna use bone meal to uh, show you how it all works and that it does work. Okay, uh, also if you're building this on survival and you can't fly because you're on survival then you could easily um, add a ladder on the bar but because I'm not creative I'm not going to do that so yeah guys, uh, here's our wee farm, our semi-automatic wee farm perfectly done hit the switch knocks it all out and wait for it to um, as you know the sun's getting kind of like well it's doing slower than the others so you could uh, patch that up easy stop collect collect and that's basically this video. Um, remember, as I said earlier, you can make multiple floors on this if you want to make it a lot bigger. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, this has been LC Champs with a tutorial on how to make a semi automatic Wii farm in Minecraft. Um,
Okay, uh, be sure to give this video a like, it really helps me out and it shows me that you appreciate this video and you would like to see more. So uh, yeah guys, thanks for watching, uh, more tutorials coming soon and peace.